Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing. Uh, quick hits. It's good to be back. Um, we're going to get into uh, the Anthony Joshua news today. He's tra- he's headed out to Texas. Um, I'm training with Derek James, um, world-class boxing gym in Dallas. So this is exciting news um, to have AJ headed out to my home, Lone Star State. Um Shout out to LeBron James, who just uh, set the all-time scoring record as well. He passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on that list, um, and he's still not the GOAT. But before we get into today's show, please uh, like, share, and subscribe 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or uh, find us on all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas uh, Texas. I'm having troubles here. Texas boxing scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds that's not going to some research and recovery. Um, please, so it's near and dear to heart. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe to that channel as well. All right, y'all. Let, let's get into. As you can tell, I'm fried. I'm tired. It's late here. Um, but AJ is coming to train with Derek James. So a couple of thoughts on this. Um, so first off. Derek James is a Texan Texan, okay? He's not going to put up with any nonsense. So it came out from Garcia, Robert Garcia, that um, AJ wasn't really into it. That it, it was a lack of effort, a lack of motivation at times perhaps. And AJ wasn't really pushing himself. He wasn't dedicated. wasn't doing what he was expected to. Um. Boy, that's not going to fly. <laughs> that's not going to fly with Derek James. And maybe Derek is better motivated. I don't know. I'm not in their camps. You know, Derek's a soft-spoken guy. You know, he doesn't say much. He doesn't really get super emotional. He's pretty low-key. He's pretty toned down, right? He tells you he tells you the truth, but he doesn't get in your face. He's not, you know, maybe that's more AJ speed. Uh, you know, Robert Garcia is a lot more personable. He's so, uh, Friendly and chatty, and Derek James is Derek James is a super nice guy, super good dude. I know Derek James really well. Um, he's low key. He doesn't say a lot, right? Like he he keeps his words to a minimum. He says he says a lot in a very few words, kind of thing. Um, but he's a hard worker, man. This is a guy. Even when Errol was was a world champ, he was still working his day job, right? He's making a ton of money training on. One of the premier, and he's still working, right? It's a guy. He's he's a worker. He's a hard worker. He's got that southern mentality. Work is work is in and of itself a good thing. It's work hard, work diligently, um, and 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 you know, you, you can see that's a part of him. He's an extremely hard worker, he, and and I, it, maybe. So, I mean, it's going to go one of two ways. Either he's going to really, really get James motivated and and he's going to get Joshua motivated and Josh is going to do the best job he can do and he's going to be the best fighter he can be. Or this is going to explode, right? Or or AJ is going to be like a week in a camp. Like, what did I get myself into? I'm not not into this. We're we're going to find out. Again, it is hard to wake up and go run when you sleep on silk sheets, right? Satin sheets, is that what Hagler said? Is that the quote? It's hard, man. Uh, we have that much money to push yourself with this. It takes a special person. And AJ has a life outside of boxing, right? He can make a lot of money in a lot of different ways, a lot of different avenues. Um, I don't know if he still has a heart for this. And if he doesn't, boy, this camp's not going to be good for him, man. Well, look at Errol Spence, Jamal Chalo. Uh, they made a lot of money. They're not Anthony Joshua money, but they've made a lot of money, and, and they still push themselves. So I'm not saying AJ can't do it. But it's going to be interesting. It's, it's going to be interesting. Um, if, if, if you know the reports from what right, and I don't know, Rob, I know Rob, I seem to be nothing but a completely honest person. Um, 
if, if, if what Garcia is saying is true, and AJ didn't have the heart and motivation for it, I, and I thought Garcia did a great job. You know, I, I, I thought he was sharper with McCracken, but better with Garcia. I mean, but the game plan was better with Garcia. Like, I think maybe they should have fused it together. But I still don't see any way that Garcia, I mean, that, that Joshua could beat Usyk, right? It's like, there's no way. It's like, if you got the best coach and say, okay, train me to beat Kobe Bryant one-on-one. Ah, you can't do it, right? I mean, with Kobe, yeah, as game plan, we get you the best shape possible. We, we get you sharp. We get you to the, but you're not going to beat Kobe Bryant game one-on-one. Like, it's just not going to happen, <laughs> right? So, because he's a lot better than you. Uh, but we can get you... It, 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 we can get the best version of you possible. And um, I, I think that's what Derek James is going to do. Now, look, he's not fighting um, Usyk again. He's fighting Jermaine Franklin, So, which is what he should have done. It was a 0% chance he was going to be Usyk. Zero. None. Zilch. Right? <clears throat> he should have taken this type of fight first with Garcia and see how that camp went. It didn't work out. Go find an, you know, you didn't have to rush into the Usyk rematch, right? You didn't have to take it at all, honestly. Um, I I just thought going into what Robert Garcia, who I don't think has ever trained a heavyweight before, your first fight fighting a guy much better than you who just beat you, it's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. And that's the other thing I want to get into with uh, with Gar- with uh, Derek James. Look, Derek James, we voted Derek James trainer of the year. It's not a knock on Derek James. He's not trained a heavyweight before that I'm aware of. Maybe he has. I don't think he has. Um, he definitely hasn't trained a heavyweight of this magnitude at this level. That's for certain. That's something that we do know. It's a big step. It's a big change, right? Like, like training a heavyweight, training a welterweight, 154, a lightweight and frame bar, and it's different, man. It's fundamentally different. You got to prepare for 12 rounds, but you ain't trying to go 12 rounds. The guys hit too hard. They're too big. There's too many question marks, right? Like, in a heavyweight, they throw less punches, right? You can't train them. You know, they're going to be a lot slower. They're more mechanical. It's not... You can't train a heavyweight the same way you train Errol Spencer, Jamel Charlo, or Frank Morgan. They're not, he's not going to be able to do that because he's 260 pounds. And I'm not saying he can't do it. What I'm saying is it's fundamentally different training a heavyweight than it is smaller weight classes. Training is different. Um, you know, there's more weight training involved. You know, look, AJ is, is mechanical, right? How, maybe he could do it, right? Like, I, I thought Ronnie Shields would be a better fit for him. Shout out to Ronnie Shields. Um, not that necessarily Ronnie Shields is better or worse than Derek James. He's worked with heavyweights before. He's worked with Mike Tyson. He's worked with Amanda Ali. He's worked with all types of heavyweights. He can do it. And he went down there and talked to Ronnie. Whatever reason, he liked Derek James. I understand why he liked Derek James. Derek James is one of the hottest gyms in the sport right now. So I get why he worked with why I wanted to work with Derek James. But he just came from a trainer that never trained a heavyweight before. Now he's going to another trainer who's never trained a heavyweight before. And, and, and you know, James is your uh, – uh, Joshua is your typical heavyweight. Big, strong, heavy, slow, mechanical, right? Like, he's, you're, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a stereotype of a heavyweight. Right? Like, if you drew up a heavyweight, you basically drew up Anthony Joshua. Uh, and, and, and he doesn't have to train that, and, and it's different. And I'm not saying they, they obviously know a lot more about boxing than I do. Right? They have a much better eye for this than I do. But, I mean, th- this is something different. And I, I think it's smart in not to – April 1st is the date. Jermaine Franklin, I'm calling him a pushover. I'm not calling him a plumber or an Uber driver. He's a decent fighter. He's not a bad fighter. He's, he's a – you know, he's been in tough. He'll come – and, 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 you know, he's not going to win, obviously, you know, um, but he, he's physically in his prime. He's like 29 years old. Um, you know, he just fought Dillian White extremely tough. He's got a win over Jerry Forrest, Rydell Booker. Like, he's not a bad fighter by any means. Um, 
you know, he was out of the ring for three years at a point. He, look, he's a decent fighter. He's he's a, he's a solid fighter, but he's going to lose, obviously, and, and we all know he's going to lose. Um, and so this is interesting to me. It's it, it's it's a metric fight, right? Like, how does Joshua? Like, how much does he have left? Um, and, and how does it work with with, with Derek James? I don't think Derek James is. You know, necessarily a bad pick. It's a little bit surprising, um, but we'll see how this turns out. You know, um, obviously Garcia didn't work out because he didn't have the heart, and if he doesn't have the heart and dedication in it, it ain't gonna work out with Derek James. I can promise you that. I, you know, look if he comes in, there, Garcia is right, and he doesn't have Derek James gonna send him home. <laughs> Derek James gonna lock him out of the gym. Like, don't waste my time, son. Don't waste my time. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day. Eight ten minutes a day. Make sure to hit that bell icon, subscribe to the channel. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, how do you think this is going to work out? And um, it is February 8th already, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.